Hello people, how are ya? My name's Kev, this is Angling and Anxiety. It's all about the angling. That's about the anxiety. You crazy people. I'm calling you crazy because I must be crazy to be out in this. Peeing over rain, you can't even see it. And I am the only one on the beach. The time is about half past 12, midnight. So, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty why I'm the only one out here. But I don't care. Got to be in it to win it. I've got a really good feeling now. I'm down here. I've got my bait set up. See that there? Nice crab. Onto a pulley dropper rig. So, what happens is that it's the bottom. This all disconnects, um, won't go into the technics of it because you know me, I'm here having a go. Um, but yeah, tide's just, we've got three hours until the tide's up, so it's just started flooding. Um, but I'm going to have a go, I've got loads of worm, someone was meant to be coming tonight, but let me down. I've got some big girls in there, um, all nice and soft, as you can see by the way that that's on the hook. Um, yeah. <laughs> It is what it is, like I say, someone's meant to be coming, they've let me down, so I'm out here on my own. Once I've got a plan in, in my head, it's happening, it's as simple as that. So, just don't know what the quality's going to be like, uh, again, can only do so much when it's at night, but I'm going to have a go anyway, and if I catch any fish, I'll be sure to show you. So, fingers crossed, thanks for joining, let's see how we get on. Right guys, here's something I haven't fished in a little while, two hook flapper, got some nice old blacks. They're good worms these are, to be honest with you. Best lacks I've had. And I am fishing this on a ye old ugly stick, mate. A little seven footer. And I'm just going to have a go, basically. <laughs> just chuck it out and dig it in the ground, but I've got my rod set up here. You can just about see them, can't you? Um, yeah. I'm feeling a little quiet, quietly confident. I mean, there you go, look, that's a knock. There you go, did you see that? Did you see that? What one is that? One of them's going off. All right, it's the right one, I'll bring you back. Absolutely devastated, man. Just been pinged off. Took me in the snag. Ah, oh, felt like a nice hand and all in the carp rod. Oh, well, it means they're in, which means there's a chance that I could get one on the other one. So let's get the rods back out. Let's have another go. Happy days, guys. Happy days. Woohoo! Yes! PB bass on the soft peeler. Winning, mate. So happy with that. It's a lovely bass. Really is a lovely bass. Weren't 100% sure what was happening on the way in, but happy days. Beautiful. Dinner sorted. Woohoo! Tell you what, guys. I am over the moon, man. Happy days, what a lovely day. I knew it was a good idea to come on my own. Sometimes you just got to go, do you know what I mean? You have to excuse the camera quality again. I keep saying it, I've said it for the last few videos because I'm fishing at night, so I can't do a lot, man. Um, but yeah, brilliant. Let's see if we can get a few more. I've only been here half an hour. Wicked. Slowly coming in. Look at that one, look, stuck in the ground. The old ugly stick. <laughs> oh, pucker. Did a salt with. Lovely bit, man. Buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. I love bass as well. I don't really like eating fish, but I tell you what, I bloody love bass. Got to keep its torch down, because if you get the torch in the water, it can tend to spook the fish. So, got to keep your torch down, man. Tell you what, these pulley, uh, pulley dropper rigs off of Jason Keen are absolutely spot on. JS uh, Fishing Sea Rigs, they are spot on, man. I bought some of them Tronics. Tron Where are they? I bought some of these. These, absolutely terrible, honestly, pants. 
they're pulley pedals in ones, but yeah, uh, I bought some droppers the other day, and honestly, God, they're absolutely rubbish. Really are rubbish. There's no pulley to them, do you know what I mean? If that makes sense, they're the same length, so it doesn't pull. So you know, when it was coming back, it was coming back all tangled up. I know these are presented spot on, so happy days, man. But nice to get a little sank and a scratching rod, that'd be quite fun. A little ugly stick, but yeah, cool beans, man. All right, I just snapped a rod. <laughs> I just left it over there, I can't even be bothered with it right now. But yeah, got my rods dug in the ground. I've had to run up to my van and get me up tighter. Um, so yeah, still out there, still early days. What's the time? 20 to one, so still got another two and a half hours till I tide. Probably longer, my maths ain't great at this time of the day. But yeah, I hope one of these rods goes absolutely slamming over and we get hook into a nice fish. But if not, the trip's made at the end of the day, but we'll see. Fingers crossed and all that malarkey. Gotta be in it to win it, and I am the only one who is in fact in it. Because this beach is empty. Because they're all at home. <laughs> like sensible people. But they're not catching bass, so. Who's a winner? Let's crack on. Right, it's nothing massive, guys, but it is another species. Another little dogfish. Welcome on the little ugly stick. Nearly lost him in a snag. It's really snaggy out there today. Really, really, really snaggy. Um, just a little tip, if you're trying to run hook a dogfish, because they're wriggly little buggers, grab it by the head and the tail like that, and then you can get the hook. Now them straight in the scissors. Beautiful little fish, these little things. As much as they do become a bit of a pest, they are beautiful still. Um, but yeah, happy days, going to get them back out. Going to check my other rods as well. Super, super weedy, which is annoying, because I keep losing rigs. Um, cause see me having to go home early because of it, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, yeah, let's get this one up, gun up and then get him back in the water. Look at that eye, beautiful. Alright, the rain is coming down quite heavily now. You can't really see it, it's cold as you can see by the steam. Um, the rods are out again. I'm really, really just getting a bit sick of the old snags now. It's like it's dragging me in something. I've come down here with Unknown the other day and uh, he was fishing about the same spot as me. And it just kept getting caught up in something. I'd love to know what it is out there. You know when there's something out and you can't quite figure out where it is? It's really f um, fizzling my brain, as it were. But yeah, just got to keep going, keep trying. I've only I've got one more lead left, so. And I bought 10 rigs with me and I'm, I'm down to four. <laughs> So we're getting through them guys, we are getting through them. But it's all part of it, isn't it? It's all good fun. Hopefully a nice hound to come now. If I can get a hound, one little doggy, nice bass, nice hound now, and that'd be me, mate, I'll be over the moon. I mean I'm I'm pretty happy anyway to be quite honest with you. I'm I've made it. <laughs> it's it's done me now, do you know what I mean? I've I've had a successful trip, I haven't blanked, but yeah, a nice hound to finish it off would be lovely. I lost a lovely hound at the beginning which really does annoy me really does annoy me, it was a lovely hand. Rod was banging away, but can't win them all mate, you can't win them all, can you? Chilling though man, just chilling in the beach bud. I want about eight red balls now, which is no good for you. But still going strong. Let's hope for a big slamming rod over hound. See how we get on. Alright, the rain is coming down quite heavily now. Can't really see it, it's cold as you can see by the steam. Um, the rods are out again. I'm really, really just getting a bit sick of the old snags now. It's like it's dragging me in something. I've come down here with Unknown the other day and uh, he was fishing about the same spot as me. And it just kept getting caught up in something. I'd love to know what it is out there. You know, when there's something out and you can't quite figure out where it is, it's really um, fizzling my brain as it were, but yeah, just got to keep going, keep trying, I've only, I've got one more lead left, so, and I bought ten rigs with me, and I'm, I'm down to four, <laughs> so, we're getting through them guys, we are getting through them, but it's all part of it, isn't it, it's all good fun, hopefully a nice hound to come now, if I can get a hound, one little doggy, nice bass, nice hound now, and that'd be me mate, I'll be over the moon, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy anyway, to be quite honest with you, I'm, I've made it, <laughs> It's, it's done me now, do you know what I mean? I've, I've had a successful trip, I haven't blanked, but 
yeah, nice hound to finish it off would be lovely. I lost a lovely hound at the beginning, which really does annoy me. Really does annoy me. It was a lovely hound. Rod was banging away, but can't win them all, mate. You can't win them all, can you? Chilling though, man. Just chilling in the beach, bud. I'm on about eight red bulls now, which is no good for you. But still going strong. Let's hope for a big slamming rod over hound. See how we get on. Right, the tide is nearly up. No more fish so far. It's been pretty quiet to be fair. Not even on the scratching rod, nothing. So the good thing is the tide's come up so far that I can't cast as far as that snag. <laughs> Whatever that may be. So it is what it is. Not being able to cast miles does have its benefits. So the last three times I've brought the rods in they've been nice and clean. No snags on the way in, so still time, don't get me wrong, still still plenty of time. Got an hour left, so that's still high tide. Really, probably could fish it down an hour, but at the end of the day, I've got going at some point. Um, it's half past two, so half three leave here and then get home half four, do you know what I mean? I've got to have my kids at 11, my missus is going out, so yeah. Hopefully a nice hound to come along, or something out of the ordinary, but... If it doesn't, it hasn't been a failure, so every cloud and all that. Cleaned on my rubbish up. The tents were nice and clean now, so. Look at me bass here, look at him. All gutted. Gutted him all nice. There's some nice old fillets in him, mate. Chopped all his fins off. He's ready to go. Proper bar of silver. So that'd be days. Chuff that I am. Proper chuffed. Fingers crossed, we can get another one. Right, 10, 15 minutes left, so I packed everything away. And I have descaled, took all the fins off, give it another wash, um, cut the really nice fillets. For those who don't know, when you're descaling, you basically push against the scale um, and they come off pretty easily, to be honest with you. Um, and then go and give it a wash. But yeah, some really, really nice fillets there. And what I'm going to do with that is a bit of chilli, a bit of garlic, a bit of lemon, pan fry it, skin side down. Oh, mate, honestly, I'm not a fish lover, really, uh, eating-wise, but, mate, see bass. Glitzamo, mate. Absolutely, don't know what glitzamo means, but, mmm. It's seriously, seriously nice bit of meat, man. It just tastes, it just tastes like something else. It really does, but yeah. Rods are still out. Very, very quiet still. Um, like I say, another 10 minutes. I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, if you don't hear from me again, that means I didn't catch another fish. Thanks again for watching. Sorry again for the quality of the video. Um, it's, it's, it's dark. <laughs> it's dark, that's what it boils down to, it's dark. Um, so yeah, and it's another spare at the moment, impulsive fishing trip. I think I'm in a new uh, tripod, don't you? But yeah, it's been good, it's been fun. Um, back to work very soon. Uh, a week, a week's time I'll be going back to work. But on the plus side, I think Vigilant is going to the sponsors next week. So with any luck, the ye old Wilson flyer will be up and coming, mate. Right? She'll be ready to go. Um, as soon as she's ready, me and the unknown angler, we are hitting the sharks. Um, so, yeah, ticked off poor Beagle. Now we've got to tick off for fresher. So, fingers crossed we can make it happen. But, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, it's many, many an adventure. All of this beach fishing at the minute. Videos are not great. Edit is not brilliant. Um... Fishing is okay, um, but just remember, when you click that subscribe button and you press that bell, you are clicking the ultimate button on YouTube, because I'm telling you now, the fishing coming up very, 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 very soon is going to be better than anything you'll find on YouTube in relation to fishing, in this country at least. Um, so, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I love every single one here. Don't forget the social media platform, 24 hours a day if you need to chat. Um, it's called Angling Anxiety for a reason. It's a mental health based fishing channel. Um, 
but I try not to go on too much about the fish uh, mint novel side of it when I'm doing the videos. But on the Facebook page, you know where I am. Look at that quality, absolutely terrible. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm here all the time. WhatsApp numbers on the on the Facebook, um, Instagram as well. Not too not too sure if the numbers on there. I've got cuts all over my fingers, and they really hurt. But yeah, happy days. Thanks for watching. If you don't see me again, it's because I didn't catch a fish. Much love. Really appreciate it. Bam. See you in a bit.